<laughs> you know, so over there. To what extent do you uh, drugs play a role in your creative process? <laughs> <laughs> They were very big in the Invisibles. I mean, I, I was a real straight edge kid until I was 30 years old. I mean, completely, I didn't touch anything. I was anti-drink, drugs, smoking, everything. But I got to 30 and I just thought, okay, I'm going to, like, like I said, like he said in that mad, uh, <laughs> that mad compilation of quotes, I kind of decided to treat myself as a laboratory and to become something else. I wondered how much you could mess with your own personality. So I just started to do all the things I'd never done before. I became like a tranny for a while, and I used to dress up as a girl in clothes. And I was beautiful at it. <laughs> oh, fuck me. You know? <laughs> so I was doing all this kind of weird stuff, and I just started to take tons of psychedelic drugs. You know, I was, I was never into like amphetamines or any of that crap. I liked the mind expanders. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old now. I'm a bit William Burroughs. <laughs> so I don't do so much of that anymore. Yeah. That also have a role in your experience <clears throat> Well, the Catman Do thing was really weird because uh, I had taken a little bit of uh, Nepali hash, <clears throat> but the thing is, it was such a small bit. The experience that I had in Catman Do was so profound. Nothing like that has ever happened to me again. And part of the the idea of taking a bunch of psychedelic drugs during the nineties was to see if I could replicate the experience, because I. Something happened. I was taken to a place that was actually so much more real than this. The clarity of everything was more real. The, the way things were made, the definition was a hundred times more real than this. This is like a really just cheap dream compared to the place I went to. And I tried all kinds of things to see if that was possible to replicate that experience. I tried DMT, I tried high doses of mushrooms, high doses of acid, and nothing took me to that place. So it wasn't a drug experience, it was something quite unusual and different, and I've never been able to get back there again.